it's nice to see you guys here at, at Pompeo after church. Thank you. This morning I'm going to talk about um, Toussaint Louverture. Uh, for you to already know about, uh, he was uh, one of the uh, leaders on uh, my country uh, independence. I have a short video, but I don't think I'm going to be able to play the whole thing, but just a little bit at the beginning of it. His name was Francois Dominique Toussaint Louverture, also known as Toussaint Louverture, was a Haitian general and best known as leader of the Haitian Revolution. He was a leader of the Boon resistance back uh, on, uh, at that time, in, uh, at that time, was Saint Domingue. He was not really Haiti. The name of the colony was Saint Domingue. His military and political acumen saved the gain of the first black insurrection in November 1791. He first fought for the Spanish against the French, then the French against the British, and finally he fought on behalf of Saint Domingue and the era of Napoleon. France. At that time, Napoleon was the um, French um, president. He helped transform the slave ancestry into a revolutionary movement. <coughs> to celebrate, to begin his military career as a leader of the 1791 slave rebellion in Saint Domingue, he was by then a free man and a Jacobin member. Jacobin at that time was a prayer where um, it was a society where the free and freedom and equality members gathered together, and that was in France. The, the Jacobins are the one, the most influential political club during the French Revolution in 1789, because that was a very popular uh, society. He gradually established control over the whole island and he used political and military tactics to gain dominance over his rivals. Throughout his year in power, he worked in, to improve the economy and security of Saint Domingue. Worry about the economy, which had stopped, he restored the plantation system using paid labor, negotiated trade, treaties with the United Kingdom and the United States. At that time, the United States was still in slavery, by the way and maintain a large and well-disciplined army. Although the University did not, serve, did, uh, did not serve a tie with France in 1800, after defeating leaders of the free people of color in 1801, he created a de facto autonomy colony. The colony constitution proclaimed his governor for life against Napoleon Bonaparte, which is in 1802, he was invited to a party by a French general, Jean-Baptiste Brunet, under a false pretense in Ireland. That was a complot. Because he was invited to be a part of a meeting, and that was the way Napoleon and that general make the way they captured him. He was deported to France in jail, doing a jail, dying of pneumonia, in 1803. Unfortunately, he died before the final of the most banned stage of the army conflict. However, his achievement set the ground for the black army absolute victory of the Haitian Revolution because, because of his um, because of his movement because because he was a general of the French army he learned the tactic while he was inside the French army and he passed that to the some of the slaves they were able to defeat the French army and he has his letter and that was John Jacques de Saline he's the one letter one who declared the sovereignty state of Haiti on January 1st 1804, and I think if you didn't know, Haiti was the first country on this hemisphere to earn their independence in 1804, even though they are the poorest country. And there's a reason for that, because you have a black country on the Caribbean have their independence, and here in America, they still have slaves. So French and, Amer and United States at that time 
put the pressure on them. So Toussaint Louverture was the one who really started the whole process. And I, again, I have a short video. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, just the beginning, just you guys can understand a little bit, and I'm gonna have them to stop it on this time because I know we have to go see the service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 